can I start by welcoming this report from the Standards Committee? It definitely clears up a number of loose ends from the original work on the ICGS. And I think it demonstrates the benefit that the House has had from the past couple of years of operating it. That benefit of hindsight demonstrates that the fears and suspicions of some when the scheme was first introduced have so far been unfounded. There is now a clear route to providing justice to everyone who visits or works in Parliament. And at the same time, the training and sanctions that are in place will go a long way toward changing the culture so that everyone who comes here is treated with dignity and respect. There have now been two full reviews of the scheme by Alison Stanley, who in my view has done a great job. I hope that regular reviews will continue to take place to make sure there is always scrupulous fairness, particularly in the contentious area whereby there is a concern about politically motivated complaints against MPs, and I know a number of colleagues across the House continue to be concerned about that. But I do think that Alison Stanley, in her reviews, has made clear the need to speed up processes so that the findings of any investigation are delivered within a reasonable period of time. And I hope that changes made as a result will give complainants greater confidence than they have today that the scheme is worth using. There's no doubt that justice delayed is justice denied. And some of the complaints that have been brought to date have been far too slow to reach a conclusion. If we don't tackle this issue, it will undermine the whole credibility of the scheme. So I do urge both my right honourable friend and the chair of the Standards Committee to focus on, on ensuring that the right resources are available to get the job done in a timely way.